Town of Morristown Planning Board, September 11th yep. town session. Please rise to the flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stand, uh, stand just for a moment and just uh, our respect for the 9-11. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, there's one item that you brought to my attention that there may be a lot of concern here, and it's respect to the proposed local law amendment for Western Highway. Um, I don't know, I, there was a lot of thought that people were interested in this. This board will do nothing. All we're going to do is refer it to the town board for their decision. So we're not going to make any decision on it. So if you're here for that, so you don't have to wait till the end. That's basically what it is. But we're going to refer it to the town board. Okay? Uh, next is South Morristown Ambulance Court. Is the, are you guys ready or should we go to the next one? I'm is he here? here? Do you want to do Does it? Anybody have a question? Excuse me. Anybody have a question about what you said? So the, the last one we just spoke about did not talk about the Not at all. Huh? No, talking, talking, no public input, nothing. Yeah. Okay. Everything is going to be referred to the town board for their determination. Okay? You look like you're shooting darts at me. Uh, I'm scared <laughs> up here. Come to them, okay? They must be important. Why'd you want you to sit here for, you know, all the evening for me to tell you the kind of I appreciate it. Okay. I'm tired of looking at you, so get out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's move on to the next one. So Blue Hill uh, Plaza Tree Remedition Plan. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we'll do it. You guys don't see it.
Yeah, have more comments? Uh, I have a letter from Alvin Gaddy, um, dated August 23rd, 2024. He does not seem to any gas facility conflicting with the cold work. All code 753 rules must be followed. Yes, sir, Mr. Bradley, what can I help you with? It's been a long haul. I'm working. Is that better? Here's the other one. Yeah, that's the other one. What's on? It's been a long haul. I think we saw it in 2018. Uh, appropriate day today for this. We have the final approval. We've been to the planning board, the zoning board, at the board, and now we have the final. Thank you, sir. Let me go through the consultant reports. Okay, the project review has no additional comments. Office of Building Zoning and Planning, Jane Slade, September 10th. She has two comments. Department of Environmental Management and Engineering, Town of Orange September 10th. Those pages has eight comments. 
The Bureau of Fire Prevention Town of Orange Town since August 19th. They have one comment. Booker Engineering, September 10th. Significant information has been provided to demonstrate that uh, that's uh, yes, uh, significant information has been provided to demonstrate that potential significant impact with respect to drainage can be mitigated. We therefore recommend that the South Morristown Animal School Site Plan and the subdivision be approved with drainage subject to the above project comments or no on that was, why they put it back there? Do we have any idea? You know why they put it back there? Yeah. They do that on every project? You know, you typically have written it twice. All right. Okay, well, let's take care of I that. Have right the, now. I have the word. Okay. Well, then let's go. That's the one. Okay. Can I have a motion to override number two of the Rockland County Planning Board's Health Department, July 22nd. They have one comment. I have a letter from Michael DeMillo. Um, as this is nowhere near any of the county parks, Rockland County Parks Commission has no comment. That's dated uh, June 11th. Okay, the FCA has that been revised? Yes. As of what date? Because I have it from Rockland County Planning, and number seven says it hasn't been revised. So it goes back to uh, Planning Board Decision 1025-23, also. November 12, 23, FCA, F stuff, depending the errors. That was for like two. There have to be two changes, I think. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Numbers 12, B, 20. <coughs> yeah, I'm sure the EA up should be like this. This has for our decision 1025.3 and uh, uh, County Planning Number 7, which is the current one. So that's be correct. Okay, we'll correct. <laughs> okay. white vinyl fence to replace the current one along the property line and an acoustical fence uh, that's going to uh, reduce the noise from the generator area. What exactly uh, are the acoustic fence properties? That's noise reduction because we didn't get, or at least I never got a uh, manufacturer's specification sheet. That was really an accommodation to yeah, because it's generated there, and that's when you put that up at the last uh, meeting for your research on the sign of the score. As you can see, you put it in there, the acoustic defense is put in. Uh, it runs, I think, 16 or 20 feet along. Yeah, piece. right behind that section of the generator. Right. Um, it's, a, it's a sound attenuating treatment that attaches to the fence, and this was uh, built in suspenders actually met with the neighbor who had the problem and we uh, agreed to put in a new white vinyl fence That's all the way right. around the entire property, uh, including the back of the proposed parking lot. Right. And the one section is social attachment to the attachment to the fence. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can provide this, but I don't have to well, uh, no. provide those fences. Yeah, no. no, I was just wondering my decimal of the reduction. It's used along highways. Okay. And so it does like a board on board fence and then they attach this to the wood fence. All right, now I'll put in a sofa back there. And uh, they am the neighbor there at, uh, he has no problems with everything now. They think it's uh, moving along as far as that goes. As far as I know, they've satisfied him, they've met with him in the field, mm -hmm. so. Okay, landscape plan looks great. Yeah, and that was all vented after the, the meeting with the Right, and I think we brought that up to it the last uh, yeah. uh, meeting. Thank you. Okay. Nothing further at this time. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Did you say that? Who said that? No, nothing. Okay. 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 Um, do you have a motion to open up the public? Motion to open up the public. Do you have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody from the public wish to speak on this application? Fine, you guys are all here from the Angles Board. One more time. Anybody from the public wish to speak on this? Move the plus proper portions. Second. All favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? None. Okay. Um, motion for lead agent? I think you've already done no, that. So maybe three or four. Do we have to be confirmed? Yeah. Three Motion to be confirmed. Motion, motion to be confirmed. Motion to be confirmed. I'm sorry. Second. Okay. All favor? Aye. Any opposed? None. Um, motion for final with conditions? Motion for final with conditions. <coughs> Office Building Zoning, Jane Slater, September 10th, she has two. <coughs> Department of Environmental Management and Engineering, Town of Orangetown, September 10th, Cliff Peters has eight. Bureau of Fire Prevention, Town of Orangetown, August 19th, they have one. Booker Engineering, September 10th, they have four. Okay, uh, Rockland County Planning, August 14th. Has a total of 15, of which the applicant wishes to uh, get rid of number two, which has been done in the past. Uh, I have a motion to override number two. Motion to override number two. Okay. Second. Mike, did you go into the replay? I don't know. Okay, I'm just looking for the reason why we overrode it. Yeah. What? Uh, we just we had two motions. 
Oh, sorry. So, um, okay. We're confirming that we're going to go with Bruce's on that. Okay. Uh, basically, we've overridden this twice before, and it keeps coming back. So, can that be our reason? Well, I should know. <laughs> That's why I was hoping to find a the old decision. I you some. Okay, please. That there is a, an additional parking area to the south of the project that has been designed after the houses. You guys are doing a great job. Yeah. All right. Crossing 
Industrial Park, formerly known as the Bradley Corp Park. Um, here with me this evening is Rob Fruit, the Principal of Dynamic Engineering. Uh, we also have representatives uh, of Onyx and Rivian uh, in the audience as well as uh, Rob's colleague uh, from Dynamic. Um, this project was before you uh, back the first quarter of the year. It's for an accessory parking lot to work in conjunction with the service center for Rivian that you approved last year, which is now, I'm pleased to report, open and operating. Um, as you may remember, Rivian are electric vehicles that customers order online, and then when they're ready, they come pick them up at 800 Bradley Hill Road. That also is where they bring them for, for service, although EVs have a lot less fluids and moving parts, so they don't need as much service as, as a traditional internal combustion vehicle. Um, this parking facility received preliminary approval from this board and an egg deck back on March 27th, as well as final re-subdivision. You may remember there were two lots that are being merged, so no new lots are being created, actually there's one less lot, uh, but they're all owned by Onyx and Rivian is Onyx lessee. As part of that original approval, uh, you waived ACCABOR, because this is just a parking lot, there's no new buildings or other structures. Uh, you overrode certain Rockland County Planning Department comments, which have come back again. Uh, so we'll talk about that a little later. Um, and you sent it over to the Town Board for a water course diversion permit and the Zoning Board of Appeals for several <coughs> area variances. Uh, I'm pleased to report the Town Board approved the water course permit on May 21st. The Zoning Board granted uh, several area variances on June 5th, and we are back here uh, requesting final site plan approval uh, subject to any outstanding comments. Um, what I'd like to do at this time, if I could, is ask Rob to take you through the updates to the plan since March. Uh, there have been uh, some, <coughs> some changes related to uh, stormwater, some field testing that uh, the Department of Environmental Management required. Uh, which did result in some changes to the plan, um, but at the end of the day, it's still a proposed accessory parking facility, just the stormwater is being handled a little differently. Um, and Rob, maybe you could just uh, remind the board of uh, the enhancements to the landscaping uh, that were required as part of preliminary as you take us through uh, the overall plan. Thank sure. you. Uh, thank you. Uh, Rob Frug uh, with Dynamic Engineering for the record. Uh, what I have on the easel is an overall site plan rendering uh, showing uh, the area that we are uh, proposing improvements on. Uh, it is the combination of lot uh, 50.40 and lot 47, uh, which together after the resubdivision is 13.18 acres. Uh, I won't go through all of the detail. I'll focus on the changes uh, since preliminary. Uh, but as you recall, the site had uh, two access points or two uh, connection points to leave a road, I should say. Uh, those, during preliminary and during various discussions, uh, we agreed that we would not uh, propose any connections there. All of the access comes internal from uh, the site, both on the uh, west side and on the east side coming up into the site. Uh, as you may, may recall from the testimony, uh, significant grade, grade change this uh, area of the site of the, of the campus, if you will, sits up. It's about 25 feet. This area uh, where we're proposing today is about 25 feet above the loading area of the distribution center below. Uh, with that, there's going to be a wall that's uh, about uh, 16, 15 feet high, um, and uh, of course, the accompanying uh, stormwater management measures. Uh, since the preliminary approval, um, we uh, have been reviewing the review letters from uh, Mr. Peters and addressing comments, updating the SWIP. Uh, part of that was to do some additional testing on site for the soils. Uh, what we found out there, uh, which wasn't uh, necessarily a surprise, but there is uh, some bedrock in that area. Um, and what that did was slightly modify our stormwater design. Uh, so what we've done with the stormwater design uh, it originally was an all underground infiltration basin under the parking lot. Uh, we modified that to reduce the size of the underground uh, along the north uh, parking row there uh, to be the underground. It is now um, 
an underground detention system. Um, and there is, you can see the lighter shade of green here uh, is a stormwater planter uh, that satisfied the runoff reduction requirements uh, of, the, of the code. That's about 8,200 square feet there. That will then overflow into the underground detention system. And as with the previous design, that system will be underground and overflow to the existing infrastructure that exists along the west side of the campus, which is where all the stormwater goes today. Uh, we're just managing it and mitigating it uh, before it gets there. Other changes were at each of the driveways. Uh, we have modifications to the grading design to put a slight crown in the road to push the water towards the curb and allow us to collect it in inlets on either side of those driveways. Uh, and then for additional water collection before it gets off the property, uh, those are also uh, managed through um, water quality uh, measures as well. So all in all, we have done these uh, in response to Mr. Peter's letter. Um, we believe that we have addressed all of the critical design elements. We did just receive his updated letter. Uh, we did have some dialogue with him at the PRC meeting last week. Um, he brought up some, what we believe, technical comments, which we have no problem. Uh, uh, we're very comfortable addressing as uh, conditions, and we'll work with him uh, through that moving forward. In all, by addition of the above ground uh, planter system, the total parking on the site went from 633 spaces down to 614 spaces. So, uh, so we reduced the total number of parking spaces a bit. Uh, as you recall, we have breaks in the parking space throughout. As you recall, we are bringing water to the site. We will have a main extension up the drive and into the site that will serve two fire hydrants on site. We have a letter. I believe from a week or two ago from the fire official confirming no further comments uh, with regard to that. Um, and, right, and so the other element is the landscaping, if you recall, during uh, the, the preliminary discussions, uh, we looked uh, in detail at the existing berm that exists on the south side of the property, uh, backing up to the houses on Weaver Road. Uh, that's an existing berm with existing vegetation. We have a significant uh, amount of additional landscaping being planted there. What you see with this line here through that landscape berm, that's a representation of the notes on the plans that we will put that landscaping up into the berm. Is it, rather than just plant it on our open space on our side of the berm, we're going to fill some gaps, fill some of the holes in the planting. Um, it will not, at the end of the day, be a straight line as it's shown on the plan. We will work with uh, the town's forester and find appropriate places uh, within uh, that berm. If there's a, a little bit of a gap or anything, we'll put plants in the right spot so that, number one, we don't disturb existing vegetation when we dig the plant, and number two, visually, we're filling some holes uh, in that area. Uh, so that's a significant effort to uh, supplement the berm and screening there. That's the, the significant elements of the changes that have happened since uh, the preliminary uh, approval for this board saw. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Rob. <coughs> Bless you. That is our overview. Happy to answer any questions. Do me a favor, real quick. I know it's not part of it. Shine your laser on your map and then go on to the TV screen. Because we'll try to discuss if we need a laser to work on the TV screen. Yes. A little bit. Oh, it just makes it. Yeah. The, green, the green one works better. Yes. That's I have right. a green laser. It works better on the, on the screen. Oh. Rob, what's the manufacturer of that? Do you know? It just says laser pointer. Amazon. It definitely has. Yeah. Everything's on Amazon. Yeah, exactly. Well, okay, green one. Let me the green one. Thank you very much. Might have to at least they take the free return of it. <laughs> Add whole food for some reason. Right. Let me go through the yeah. consultant report. Project review has no additional comments. Office of Building Zoning Planning, Jane Slade, September 10th. She has two comments. Department of Environmental Management and Engineering, Bruce Peters, September 10th. He has 18 comments. The uh, Bureau of Fire Prevention, Town of Orange Town, uh, August 15th, they have one comment. Booker Engineering, September 10th. The applicant has provided significant information to demonstrate that potential significant impacts with respect to drainage can be mitigated. We therefore recommend that Onyx Equities LLC site plan be approved for drainage 
subject to no comments. Uh, a letter from uh, Rockford County Department of Planning, September 4th. They have 14 comments. No, 12, I'm sorry. I have a letter from Rockford County Health, August 6th. They have one comment. A letter from Rockford County Highway Department, August 7th. They have one comment. I have a letter from Rockford County Planning Board, uh, July 26th. Comments attached. And that's it. Do you have anything else? Okay, thank you very much. Oh, yes, I'm thinking. I don't know. Letter from Claude Goldberg and Brad, I'm sorry, LLP, July 11th, which I'm going to make note to. I have another letter from Dynamic Engineering, July 12th, and that's it. Okay. Any questions <coughs> or comments? The only comment I have right now is that the uh, landscape plan looks pretty good. Uh, when you do that, Berm, you're going to sprinkle uh, a lot of evergreens in there and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I think with our last revision, we actually increased the percentage of, uh, the, of evergreens significantly. Okay. Most of them are deer resistant. I have nothing. Please say anything. Um, I just have a question about Bruce's no, comment number one. Yes. Um, so that, I mean, that's the, the soil testing that you're talking about when you found the bedrock, or no? We did it, additional soil testing, yes, to find the bedrock, yeah. Okay. So he wants you to do another test? Is that that's what he's saying? He wants to? That, that's in every application. It was the same comment was in, uh, or similar comment was in the, the South Orange County Ambulance Corps. Let's go back and read that one. Okay. That's kind of a generic comment, right? Yes, Bruce would prefer, okay. as with many complicated projects, uh, that all of the tests be done and approved before final approval, but that has not been the standard practice of the board. If that's, it would have to be addressed prior to the signing of the, and stamping of the drawings. Okay. So, the yeah. 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 Right. The, part of the issue is these tests can only be done at certain times of year for uh, the drainage design. So, you know, you can hold up the final approval for six months or you can grant final with the condition that they meet this condition. And if the applicant cannot meet the condition based on what they find, then they may have to come back, which has happened uh, as many as like three or four years ago. It happened twice to some complicated projects. So I think one of them was Adam's. Why don't I come back with a new design yeah. in, in this complex? So. Okay. I don't have any other questions. Okay, thank you. Mike, Daniel. Just a couple of, uh, just want to uh, confirm the, our decision to, to the claim board decision from 327 24, page 6, number 10. Just confirm no EV charging stations, no tractor trailer parking in the air? Correct. Correct. Trucks come, drop the car, they leave, cars get charged, and they're prepped. And I just want to make sure there's no change in that. Correct. <coughs> and the <I, it, coughs> landscape plan looks great. Got 41 shade trees, two and a half plus inches caliber, five ornamentals, eight to 10, 245 evergreens, uh, six to seven feet. And you note know, there's supplemental plantings uh, uh, on berm will be adjusted uh, with working with the uh, arborist and the town. In the field. In the field, so that everything is built in. And those greens grow fast. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they do. Uh, just, just one question in your letter, unless you want to talk about the letter from um, Color. I was going to get to it. Go ahead. You want to make it? Okay. Dated uh, 7 11, 24, page 2, paragraph 2. You talk about Lieber Road as a uh, conservation easement in there. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, <coughs> is that something that you're going to do? Is a conservation easement? No, no. We we indicated the 
chair, I know, asked that question back in the spring. Yeah. And I conferred with my clients. Um, they have an equity partner that's financing on this property. They prefer not to encumber the property uh, with another uh, covenant as a record. However, having it as a condition of planning board approval is almost as good in the sense from an enforcement perspective. If it's in your approval and we violate it, Jane's going to shut us down because it's in your approval. It's a condition of the site plan. Uh, but my client um, has a strong preference to not have that encumbrance recorded as a covenant against property if at all possible, since it would be enforceable through the actual condition of the site plan. So that's what I meant by that. By that Thank you. Nothing further at this time. Okay, thank you. Denise, anything? No, just to, to go, just a quick understanding again, because it's been a while. So the berm is existing, and, and just to understand, like, the, the general slope of all the stormwater will go, like, plan north? Is that Yes, it? yes. Okay, so, like, the existing stormwater wash off to any of the residents uh, south of that will have no change? That's correct. Yes, everything on the south side of the berm stays exactly the same. And then from the berm down, the entire lot has a, a gentle slope that goes down towards uh, the north uh, into the collection and detention system. Okay, all right, that's it for me. Yeah. Bruce, I have no questions. Okay. Um, can I have a motion to open up to the public? Motion to open public for second. 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 All in favor, aye, aye. aye. opposed? <laughs> Anybody from the public wish to speak on this project? Please step up and state your name and address for the record. And you I step the mic. That yes. mic right there. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, my name is Chris Pinto. I'm wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> K I R S T Y T I N T O. Great. And your address. And I'm at 6060 Lever Road. Lever Road. And so I just wanted to thank you for raising that paragraph in the July letter. I just wanted to check with the board if the condition um, of broad the easement not being developed has been included or will be included in the application for today. With respect to those two pieces? Yes, exactly. Yes, that's one of our concerns that was in this letter. And um, is that condition being included? It will be included, yes. Uh, that's exactly what we wanted to, yeah. to be absolutely clear about because we need the silence here. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was one of the first things that, that this board had, had recognized, and, and I think the applicant did do the concern, so that was addressed. But thank you very much. Anybody else, questions or comments? Can we have a motion to close the public? Motion to close the public portion. Do you have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? None? Okay. Um, motion for reaffirm sequel, right? Motion to reaffirm sequel. I'll second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, a motion for final conditions? I'll make a motion for final conditions. Okay, thank you. Okay, and the conditions are um, <coughs> Office of Building Zoning and Planning, Jane Slater, September 10th. Two comments. Department of Environmental Management and Engineering, Bruce Peters, September 10th, has 18 comments. Bureau of Fire Prevention, August 15th, one comment. Booker Engineering, September 10th, they have no comments. Rockland County Planning, September 4th, they have 12 comments. Excuse me, Chairman. Yes. I, I, there are two of those comments we just wanted to check with the board about a potential override. Um, number four and number nine. Um, more number nine, I think, than number four, right? Yeah, we, we talked about these both uh, during the uh, preliminary hearings. Uh, number four, while they make a comment, uh, we provided truck circulation plans and show that it does have sufficient maneuverability. So the board, whether you think it's an override or if it just is satisfied, uh, I think at the preliminary we It's a recommendation. It's, the, yeah, it's, it's only a recommendation. It's a recommendation, Mr. Chairman, and it's a 
Byron Becker says. Yeah, he right. made no comment to it. So yeah, I, think I think you're right through that with him. Right? Yeah, that's right. right. The first vote, right? I think it might be a carryover. Okay. Okay. But uh, I know Dave, otherwise it would have been in Dave's comments that his previous comments were not addressed. So that's number four. Number nine is another recommendation uh, with regard to limiting impervious coverage. We've discussed this at the preliminary uh, hearings where we are permitted 50%, we're down to 40%. We actually reduced that a little bit when we added uh, the, the filtration basin. Um, so we feel that we've essentially met the, the intent there by- and Isn't that basically a green practice? It is a green practice. Yeah, yeah. which is what they're asking for in the comments. So. Right, and, and again, it's saying should be considered. Okay. I don't think that requires an override. So we just want to when it says system. must. Okay. Yeah, we just want to make sure they don't get held up. Right, that's right. So, yeah. So we just want to talk it through with you, but having done that, it seems like we're sort of putting a little bit I think yeah. as long as you're satisfied, you're happy with it, then, then I don't think there's a problem. I, I, I can't see this to be an issue. If there is, then you know, we'll address it at the time. And okay. And Mr. Chairman, uh, the town engineer does not consider porous pavements as a uh, green infrastructure thing. They don't work yet. Right. Yeah, he, he does not like them. Yeah. That's a vacuum. Yes, yeah, maintenance becomes a, a big issue with them. Okay, <clears throat> Rocky County uh, Health, uh, August 6th, has one comment. Rocky County Highway, August 7th, yep. one comment. And that's it. Um, going to this letter on from Ravonna Goldberg, and I'm sorry, I don't care about what this is on. McCullough um, Goldberg and Stout, yes. On July 11th. I just want, I want to reiterate this and put this in as a comment because you guys had asked for it and, and, and were amiable to it. Uh, at the March 27, 2024 meeting, Chairman Warren asked the applicant to consider a conservation easement restricting the use of the two wooden strips of the property that connect Le to Lieber Road. As previously discussed, all access to the property will go through Hudson Crossing Industrial Park and no access from Lieber, Lode, Lieber Road is proposed. The applicant proposes that the board's final site plan approval include a condition to this effect, enforce it by the town to ensure that Lieber Road is not used to access the property. Okay, that's a letter from you, Mr. Gosh, so you, yes. you're all right with that, okay? Yes, there's a condition. Yes, okay, I just, I just wanted to get that back in. Okay, so we have to make the condition. I, I thought I just did. You reached out to see okay. the condition? Yeah, wording. I put that in as a condition wording, that letter. Yeah. It's a paragraph. It's a paragraph uh, two on page two of the letter from McCullough, Goldberg, and Staub, uh, dated July 11, 2024. I just want to be clear, though, that it's not going to be a conservation easement or restrictive covenant. It's just a condition. Correct. In the first. Thank you. So should we take that little piece out that says Mm -hmm. To ask the applicant to consider a conservation easement, should we take that out? Mm -hmm. Yep. Correct. Right, because you're not considering that any longer based on this discussion. Correct, right. but they're not they're, they're not use they're not considering using it as an access, but they don't want to make an easement out of it. Right. So the condition right. would be that as part of, part of the planning board's final approval, that could not be used as ingress or egress access. Correct. Right. Right. So that the verbiage conservation easement out of that paragraph mm -hmm. will come out. Basically satisfies everybody. Okay. Uh, okay. Can I have a second? Second. Okay. Andy, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. Congratulations, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. We got some extra work. Come safe, everyone. Okay. Yes. yes. Thank you. Yeah. You don't want to play. No, it's Rob.
Folks, law, I think we already addressed that in the other day, so that's done. Uh, right? The one that was the first time. You have to refer to the agency, right? Yeah, you should go. refer uh, proposed local law and then town zoning map across the 676 and 680 Western Highway Goldbell. Uh, uh, we refer to the town board as an agency. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? I abstain. Okay. It's, I, it's an abstain because I didn't have to take work at the time. Uh, who, who made the motion? You made the motion. Oh, made the motion. Yeah. But you also abstain. You have to also abstain. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a new point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else made the motion. Bell. Form for general municipal law for the village of Grandview. And then local zoning laws with regards to temporary structures. Why would we want to look at that? It's an adjacent municipality. Excuse me? It's an adjacent municipality. So we refer so back to that for local determination. Local yeah. determination, right. Yeah. Okay. You second? Do you want a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And again, Aye. this is part of the, the GML requirement from the county. Mm -hmm. So same thing. We we need to refer out to adjacent New York municipalities based on the location of certain projects. Comments on the minutes from which meeting was that? WPT. Yeah. Huh? WPT. Yeah, but he's got a vote on the minutes. What's the date? Oh, okay. July 24th. Motion to approve uh, minutes from July 24th. With the correction. With, of course, with yeah, the correction comments. For, for the final, such a limit. I'm assuming that the circuit was right. Right. Because I went around quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. There was some change, you know, a lot of us had changes. Yes. It was finalized for us. Okay. Second. Okay, do I have a second? A second. Mr. Bonner, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. 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 That was not at the meeting. Aye. So. Okay. No. Anything else? No, nothing else. Okay. Guys, see, you have to say something because the court's been under. We can't put down shaking head. There is nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> So let's see what she's not looking at you. She doesn't see shaking head. Wait, does Don have something? He's standing in the middle. Motion to adjourn. Those chairs are real comfortable. Aye. Any opposed? None. Okay. 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 Uh, nice.